Hello, my name's Colin Campbell. I'm with Polygon. You're looking at leaving Lindau, or possibly Lindo. Now, that tinkly piano music will tell you that this is our old friend, the walking simulation. And it's a really, really nice little game. It's out today, February the 8th, for 3 .99. And the, the sort of cheapness of the game, I think, uh, is reflected in the fact that it's pretty short. I'm showing you 10 minutes here, but the whole game only took me like an hour to complete. So here we are, we begin off, and our main character, she is going on a voyage, and uh, they're gonna just show you some of the basic mechanics of the game, which is search for stuff, and collect it, and uh, off you go on your journey. The, I, I've written an editorial today in, on Polygon about this game, and it's niceness. And, and I don't mean that in a mean, uh, 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 haughty way. You know, th there is something really pleasant about things that are nice. And this is a this is a nice, gentle game in which not much happens. You go around, you collect stuff, but also you uh, you spend time with other people. And you know, you're going on this journey, and some of them are worried about you. Some of them are jealous of you. Some of them are confused about why you would leave this little town. And it's your job through these dialogue trees to set their mind at ease, to be nice to them. I mean, if you want, you can you can sort of select the, the, the slightly arrogant uh, uh, replies, but, but generally speaking, you're going to get to the same place in the end. Uh, the dialogue trees aren't all that sophisticated, and it's just, it's just pleasant to set people's minds at ease. So during this hour or so, uh, you come across different characters. They're not entirely human, they're sort of weird looking, but uh, I'm not one to judge. So here we are in uh, the second room, just having a look around. There's not much in here, so far as I can tell, but you get a sense of the loveliness of the world through those, through those windows. Uh, just the sound of your foot against the, the woodwork, I really, I really enjoy as well. So let's go down, down the stairs and see what we're looking for. We've already picked up the spare jacket. We're looking for a book. And uh, here we see the first of the non-player characters. Uh, let's just uh, watch this dialogue tree as it uh, as it plays out. I'm at away. So, pretty straightforward quest there. Uh, find a way into the loft and um, find the travel sickness potion. Uh, I have to say that I suffered from seasickness a few years ago and it is the worst, the absolute worst. I had no idea. Uh, I, I drank a few uh, martinis the night before, which, which didn't help. So we're looking around the room for anything that can help us. As you can see, as you get close to objects, you get this yellow ring and it, it, you know, it tells you to interact with the object. Here is a picture of a father, uh, deceased. The old skirt round the outside of the room trick. We've all done it, haven't we? There it is. That looks like the pole that we'll be using uh, to open up the loft. So let's now have a look out the window. Um, we're also looking for that book, if you'll recall. Yeah, this is one of the characters we run into later on in the game who is... It needs to be appeased. It needs to be appeased through those those dialogue trees, and um, there are also puzzles. The different puzzles. There's musical puzzles. There's find and search puzzles. There's like a there's almost there's a little sports game that you get to play with a child. Here's a note that uh, that where we're going is dangerous. Uh, the people of this town seem to value science very highly, but they've got this hobbit-like uh, desire to to also stay put in many respects. We see there that, that kind of loft like up there. I love when I go into houses, I love those sort of semi lofts, you know, where, you've, where it's like a balcony that hangs down over, over uh, the rest of your house. I'm thinking about putting one in over my kitchen. It's just a great way to, um, to save space. Although, now I think about it, I think there might, be, there might be regulations against those in California because of earthquakes. I'll have to check that. So we're looking now for the potion. We picked up the book. Uh, I was gabbing when we picked up the book, so... And here's the potion for our journey into the sea. You know, you've got, all the way through this game, you've got this sense of the ocean. Uh, there's, uh, obviously, the, you know, you saw the model of the boat, you saw out the window, there's 
There's a, you can't kill yourself here, you can't jump off. There's, um, uh, out the window you can see the seascapes, you can hear the birds. This is a, a an old fashioned port town. So here we are, uh, just finishing off this one, the, you know, the first, the early exploration of, of the of the house. And most of these walking sims don't really have other characters in, but this one, this one does. Uh, just while you're reading that, it's about how the town suffered from a landslide recently and is, is rebuilding itself. Um, this one, you know, it, not only do you interact with your mother here, uh, there is, uh, after the next section, which we'll see, which doesn't have any, any people in it, there's a section where you talk to quite a lot of people in, uh, like, a party, and then you, you, there's a section where you're in, like, the docks and you talk to a lot. So there's lots of, there's lots of people here, and I've made an error. I've forgotten to pick up my suitcase. Uh, so let's go back, we know where that is, we'll pick it up. Have a quick tidy up before we leave, you know, we're going on a long journey. I think that, that there are certain uh, things that we have to do before we leave. Before we leave, we're going on a long journey. One of them is to shut the door to our room. I don't know about you, but I always do that. Pull the curtain. I think we better say goodbye to Mother as well. It'd be rude not to. A very sparse language, isn't it, that they speak? All that in one word. So, let's go on to the next level. Now, I wanted to show you this one. Uh, like I said, I'm keeping this short. I'm not showing you many of the puzzles after this because, really, I just wanted you to, to, to see the loveliness of this. The, the guy that is writing this game, uh, he used to work as an environmental artist uh, for AAA Studios. Uh, he's now created his own indie studio called East Shade. He's working on a game called East Shade uh, about a painter, uh, which is coming out next year. But this is just a little project that he's sort of thrown together, uh, I guess just to kind of give us notice of the sort of work that he does. And uh, I have to say that having played this, having enjoyed it, it's really making me look forward to, to East Shade next year. And I'm pretty sure it'll be appearing on our games to watch out for uh, 2018 feature. Uh, so here we are looking at this just, just lovely world of colour. There's the moon, uh, trees and plants and rocks. You've got that sort of fire watch thing going on where you feel like you're outside, but you're actually travelling inside, you know, corridors, pretty, pretty defined corridors. But this this meadow area, there, there is quite a lot to see here. I'm just going to show you inside uh, this hut where obviously the character has some very fond memories and you'll see some artifacts from her childhood. I said before that nostalgia about childhood is really a thing with video games these days, especially these sorts of indie video games. I'm thinking about Blackwood Crossing and games like that which are coming out where they try to explore uh, what it's like to be a kid and you know how complicated that, that world is for children and you know, the wonder of it but also the, the sort of fear and the danger of it. Uh, you, you think these are a bunch of potions but it's just some stuff uh, that they've, uh, they've picked up and here's kind of a, a clue about a musical puzzle that comes up in the game. shovel is not interactive and that's not pick up a ball in the wines let's go somewhere else by the way I apologize for my voice I've got a cold at the moment everybody in my house has got a cold grin so yeah let's finish off by just having a wander around uh, this this meadow uh, we're gonna find over here uh, a kind of dream place where you go into a slightly weird underwater situation my name is Colin Campbell, this game is out February the 8th.